when the Prophet ﷺ was dying. Because this is again a complete parallel of the life of the Messenger ﷺ. Aisha was asked, Allah, what is the last ayah our Prophet ﷺ was saying? Isn't that powerful? What's the last ayah? She said, as for the last surah, it was Surah Al-Mursalat. As for the ayah, she said that when the Prophet's fever became severe, he kept on saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Surah An-Nisa, verse 69. The Prophet is saying, join me with those who have earned your favor, with the Prophets, with the martyrs, with those who are truthful. And what a blessed company that is. The Prophet ﷺ, when he's leaving this world, he wanted to be with those who he loved again. Yusuf wanted to be reunited with Ya'qub. He wants to see his father again. He wants to see his grandfather Ishaq. He wants to be with Ibrahim. He wants to be with those that have passed before him. Can you imagine how much the Prophet ﷺ wanted Khadija again? How much he wanted to be with his family members again? How much he wanted to be with Hamza again? Four days before the Prophet ﷺ passed away, he told Abu Muwayhiba, radiallahu anhu, he said, Oh Abu Muwayhiba, inni qad umirtu an astaghfir li ahl al-Baqir. Allah commanded me to go seek forgiveness for the people in Baqir. And he took Abu Muwayhiba there. And he says to Abu Muwayhiba in the middle of the night, four days before his death, he says, I want you to know Allah has given me a choice to stay amongst my ummah and be given the keys of this world. And then when it's all over, enter Jannah and meet Allah. Or I can meet Allah now. You know what Abu Muwayhiba said? He said, Ya Rasulullah, choose us. Don't go, choose us. We don't want you to leave, Ya Rasulullah. Choose us, stay with us. Prophet says, Badakhtartu Rabbi, I've chosen Allah. And when he's leaving, he's saying, Al-Rafiq al-A'la, Al-Rafiq al-A'la, the companionship of the Most High, the companionship of the Most High. And the Prophet is joined with those who he loves. And when he passes away, the desire of every companion thereafter is, I want to be with the Prophet. Fatima radiallahu anha, he told, you would be the first to join me after I pass away. Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, she dies four or six months after the Prophet She's joined with her father. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anha, when he was passing away, his wife came in the room as he was dying and she said, Wa huzna. What a day of grief this is. What a day of horrible fortune this is. He said, Bal quli wa farha. He said, no, say, what a day of joy. Qadam alqa al-ahibba Muhammadan wa sahbah. Tomorrow I get to meet my beloved ones, Muhammad and his companions. I get to go back to Rasulullah I get to go back to the companions. The believing souls are waiting for me. When Uthman anhu was placed under siege in his house, he was fasting. And on the last day he saw a dream of the Prophet And the Prophet says, Ya Uthman, hal min al Have they stopped you from drinking water? He says, Na'am Ya Rasulullah, yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, hal min al ta'am? Have they stopped you from eating? He said, yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, هَلْ مَنَعُوكَ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ فِي مَسْجِدِي Have they stopped you from praying in my masjid? He says, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ says, Don't worry, Uthman. Tonight you will break your fast with me, Abu Bakr and Umar. تِفْطِرُ عِنْدَنَا Your fast tonight will break with us. You will eat with us tonight, not with the people of this world. Dear brothers and sisters, one of the greatest comforts as you are leaving this world is that you are joined with the believing souls that you are greeted by the believing souls. Think about your loved ones that have passed away, the believers amongst them. You're greeted by them. They're waiting for you to join that realm. And Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he was dying, it was a Monday. He said to Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha as he was dying, ayu yawmin hadha, what's today? She said, al ithnayn Monday. He said, what day did the Prophet sallallahu die? She said, Monday. Abu Bakr says, "In mutu al-ghad." Look, if I'm dying, don't try to resuscitate me, and don't wait to bury me till tomorrow. I want to go today. He says, Because the most beloved of nights and days to me are the ones closest to the Prophet He said, "How old was the Prophet when he died?" She said, "63." Abu Bakr said, "How old am I?" She said, "63." He said, "Alhamdulillah." He said, "And what was the Prophet wearing when he passed away?" She said three cloths, two of them were from his ihram in Hajj, Hajjat al Wada, and an extra cloth. He said, Bring me my two garments from Hajj and an extra cloth and shroud me in them. He knew he was going back to the Prophet. ﷺ. And the Prophet, ﷺ, he says in this authentic hadith that when the believer passes away, he says, The believing souls receive him. And they are more pleased to receive you than your long lost relatives. You know when you haven't seen someone that you love for so long in this world, 
and you go to him, like, I'm going to come to you right now and give you a really big hug. You know, when you see someone that you haven't seen for a really, really long time, the love, the excitement, the joy when you meet them in the airport, think about if you haven't seen someone for 10, 20 years. Though that's not likely in our generation due to air travel and so on and so forth, but someone you haven't seen for a long time. The Prophet ﷺ said, the believing souls will gather to receive you as you enter into that realm with more love and more desire than those long lost relatives. And the Prophet ﷺ says, فَيَسْأَلُونَهُ مَاذَا فَعْلَ فلان وَمَاذَا فَعْلَ فلان They start asking, so what's going on with that person? What's going on with that person? And then some of them say, دَعُوهُ فَإِنَّهُ كَانَ فِي غَمَّ الدُّنْيَا Look, he just got here from the dunya. Give him some time. Let's let him relax a little. Let's let her relax a little bit. And dear brothers and sisters, that is one of the greatest things to look forward to, that tonight, or whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed death for us, be it tonight or tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, or 20, 30 years from now, that the Prophet ﷺ might receive us, that some of the believing souls would be waiting for us. Those that we love and that we've lost, they'll say, Ahlan wa sallam, welcome to this realm, welcome to your new life. And that's one of the greatest comforts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to us, and that's one of the things to ask Allah for. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we live a life that is pleasing to Him, that we're able to overcome any obstacles and any tests that come our way, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to face our grief with patience, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to overcome our pleasures with the greater pleasure of pleasing Him, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to be grateful in times of ease, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to live a consistent life of ihsan, of excellence, and that when we pass away, that the first person amongst the believing souls to receive us is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that we're able to break our fast with him, and that we're able to drink from his hand, and that we're able to be joined with our parents and our spouses and our children, and our mashayikh and our ulama and all of the people that we love. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to join us with them in the realm of believing souls and ultimately in Jannah al-Firdaus. Allahumma ameen.